Hello there, I am Johnny Crow with my Pokemon Black version. In the last part, we... Oh, what did we do? Let me see here. I think we uh, made it to this new city, which is... Uh, if I pull my town map on, no. I think I have it on register, which kind of stinks. Yeah, I do. So we made it to this Mistrilton city or something like that. Uh, Mistrilton city. Mist... Mistrilton... City. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, so I apologize. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna continue on. I think I have to make a way to the tower. Who would have at front, though? Let's see. By dig Okay, cool. I wanna switch. I wanna make sure everyone gets up at a level who's level 30 at least. So, um, 4 by Pokemon in level 30 and 2 by Pokemon level level 31. And I think I'll keep Croc up at the front for now, so let's just go with that. I think the tower's to our right, so I'm gonna head that way. And hopefully I'm correct on this. Here's about seven. Oh, effect well, of course. Yeah, looks like we got a Pokemon battle. Okay, I wanted to go to the, the Celestial, Celestial Tower, but I got lost and stranded. Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that happened to you. This is Backpacker Terrence. He has one Pokemon. And it is a semi seer So, the Fire Monkey. <laughs> Fully evolved. We have Krakow. We have a good matchup here. Ground beats fire. In this case, that's good. Yeah, Krakow's Intimidate will kick in. Which will cut the semi seer's attack set in half, which is pretty cool. Let's go for the Bulldoze. Okay, so let me see if somehow faster. Why is one level higher than Krakow? Never mind. Just disregard what I just said. Ha ha ha. Bulldoze doesn't faint it, but it's super effective and it lowers his speed. That's pretty cool. Let's finish you with an assurance. And with that, I guess he's down. And he's down for the count. Krakow's in level 31. How awesome is that? Awesome sauce. Yeah. Cool. I cannot go anywhere without. I'm sorry. <laughs> I go with the city dog. Thanks for 700 foot book noise. I appreciate it. What's in this house right here? Let me switch my Pokemon up again. Let's see. Let's put Bolt right here. Yeah, let's put, let's put Bolt up to fit now. Now, half my Pokemon level 31, half my Pokemon level 30. It's like, what is he going to heal up or something? Yeah, HP increases the cool, yeah. Okay, I can't have I caught you. Have you have you caught a boulder? If you have a boulder, you trade it by your boulder for my Amorga. Amorga is the flying scroll logic Pokemon, right? And Boulder seems like the second evolution form of a uh, Raganola. I don't have uh, I don't have a, I don't have a Raganola or a Boulder, whatever you want, a Boulder. Although that could be an interesting trade with Amorga though. It's spring now, apparently. Okay. I have to bounce on these carefully. I think we're making a way to tower this. That's good. Here's another trainer. Rotation battles are new Pokemon battles in which the positions always change. I will overpower you while we are confused. While you are confused. <laughs> we'll see about that. This is uh, Ace Trainer Elmer. I think that's how I pronounce her name. She's a Subat. Oh, I just wanted to sweat. Okay. It's like a triple battle or something, or just rotational battles, but it's different. Okay, you asked for it. Let's use this. Let's use Shockwave on, I guess, everyone. I wanted to use Shockwave on the Sewer Bat anyway. I didn't faint it, of course. Let's use Calm Mind, or is it it's special attack, I think? And special defense? Yeah, that's right, cool. So, uh, let's use, uh, let's use Shockwave on the next person, I guess. Fake out. It's gonna be a free hit. Yeah. Let's use. Yeah, this is getting old. I, I don't like this rotational bow stuff. <laughs> it's not fun. I don't think it's fun. Not one little bit. 
Pokemon, my, how come my Pokemon haven't been rotated through this battle yet? Like, are you kidding me? So I always take out the, I thought I was gonna take out the Swoobat, but you didn't, you didn't rotate that time. What the heck? Critical hit, I'll take it, okay. Let's go with the Volt Switch. Yeah. I use Volt Switch on the Swoobat, nice. This should take out the Swoobat too. And that's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we went back to me, okay. Get some experience, which is nice. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to blue. Ah, of course he's already in the battle. Let's go for bacon here then. Uh huh. Just hyper fang on. On Baconator, apparently, okay. There goes the. There goes the. Watch Hog. Yeah. It looks like we're using an arm thrust on this thing. Hopefully, it'll faint it. Um, and this might take, I have to get lucky here, I guess how many times it hits. Hit four times, awesome. How is a confused, not really confusing, but a dumb battle. Thanks for the 1920 pocket dollars. 1920 pocket dollars, there we go. This is the backpacker. Let's keep a bolt up front, I guess. Come on, I'm about you. I'm gonna skip through your dialogue. Ha ha ha. I am so evil. Not really. Okay, this is Backpacker Ruth. Backpacker Ruth. She's an Encino. Encino, huh? Let's go for the Shockwave. This should only take one or two Shockwaves, I'm guessing. Yeah, the only two. It should only take two. That's a tail slip's gonna hurt. Ouch, ooh, owie, ooh. Hit three times already. Four times. Yeah, hit four times, ouch. That put, that put a little, little damper in our spirits, I guess you could say. Damper, I don't think I said that right. Okay, here's Benzino, it goes down now. Ha ha ha. Now bolts level 31. Went so and stomp. Interesting. Um. Uh, I'd rather keep the moves I have, to be honest. Let me check my final moveset there first. Do I have a stomp, a room for a stomp on my final moveset? Let me check right now. Let's see. Thunder wave, thunderbolt, volt switch, and discharge. Yeah, I'm gonna have to skip out on, I'm gonna skip out on stomp. Yeah. It was kind, it was kinda, it was kinda. Cool that it, it happened like that, but I can't teach Bolt Stomp now. Not now. Because it's not a phone moveset. It's as easy as that. So now these backpacker, uh, backpackers are gonna just what, hide in the grass? Hide in the tall grass? I should have switched my Pokemon. I don't think I did that. Yeah. Yeah, Bolt's not gonna handle this very well. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna Volt Switch then. It's not gonna be very effective. I know that. Cool. Cool indeed. Let's go to Ultimate. Bug Bite. That's gonna hurt. That's not gonna hurt too much for. Ultimate, yeah, no, I did 12 HP. Okay. Cool. Let's go for the air cutter. There we go, nice. So, I'm gonna stay in for this one. Yeah, it's a water monkey. Final evolution, okay. Let's go for the air cutter then. Avoid the attack? Are you kidding me? 
It's getting scald on us now. We're on ultimate. Ah, oh, and it, it's got to faint, isn't it? After this turn, it's going to faint. That's not good. Ay, 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 this sucks. That sucks so much. <sighs> Let's go for... I don't have any good choices. I really don't have any good choices. Let's go for the muddy water. Let's get scald again, of course. It's gonna be fun, not really. I don't need that much. I'm gonna switch out again then. Let's go to green. Elemental monkey versus elemental monkey, final form. You're in charge, green. Ha ha ha. Are you kidding me? This sucks. I hate this. I don't like it at all. You're scald again, of course you are. You and your scalding. I still can't get burned if I'm already paralyzed. As, as long as goons are paralyzed. Jeez. We'll go level 31 awesome. Tranquil. We'll switch to, uh. We'll switch to blue. All blues are level 31, jeez. Okay, whatever. We got this. Let's go for another muddy water. All these air cutter. No, I don't. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure Spoo is faster than this thing, so yeah, it's good. There we go, nice. Cool. Gave okay, us a spare berry, cool. Nice, okay, let's get this uh, item. Dang it. That was just a trinkle, I fainted for experience. Are you kidding me? I just underestimated, I just uh, decided to run against that dealing. Here's a PP up, oh, this is pretty cool. I wonder what move I'm using on though. I'll have to decide on that later, I guess, because I want to decide now. Are you kidding me, one step? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center. Okay, so right back here, let's switch up some Pokemon. Ult can go with, uh, Ultimate, okay. Everyone's level 31 except for Ultimate. Oh, except for Ultimate, jeez. I'm gonna spurp there, jeez. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so Ultimate's level 30, okay, cool. Here's another backpacker, so that's pretty cool. It takes 20 or even 30 years for a tree to be fully grown. Will you have a a Pokemon battle that will you have a Pokemon battle that pleases the trees? Maybe, 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 maybe. Here's a Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Ranger Pedro. He has two Pokemon. A soul assist. Okay, we got um my flying type up front. Ha 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 ha. Let's go for the fly attack. Let's see how much it does. It's a two turn attack, but it's really powerful. It's like 70 power. If my, uh, maybe 90 power, I can't remember honestly. I'll put it on screen right now what power, what base power the move is, the move fly is. And it's still on screen. Until I say nope. Haha, <laughs> your attack only did over half. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Let's fix you with a quick attack, hopefully. Watch, watch me just not get this kill. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, get the Pokemon to fan is what I meant to say. Oh, that sucks. Wow, that sucks even more. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, that's a note blue. It's an Axew. Okay. Let's go for the muddy water. It's not gonna be very effective because it's like half dragon type, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't worry about that, but that's better than I thought. Scary Fish is gonna lower blue speed step by one stage. 
Uh, by two stages, two stages because the high stream fell. Of course. Now it's gonna just drag and go on and be a jerk. Yeah. We got this still. One more money wise should do it. So it's gonna go big or go home, right? Sasha's gonna hurt though. Uh, I did also expect it. Okay, cool. What a mistake. Are you kidding me? No. No. We don't want this. We don't want two Pokemon faint on the first battle. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This sucks. I hate this. This is dumb. Let's go for this spark. There we go. Fainted it. Nice. Even though it was not very effective, it still fainted it, which is cool. When was the last time I used to revive, honestly? Look, we get another SP berry. Okay. That's cool. Uh huh, yeah. Here's the tower which you want to go into. And we, ah, uh, dang it. I have to go to the town map now. Because I didn't read the name. This is Celestial Tower, okay. Let's see here. How many revives do we have? We have five. I might as well use one on both of them. Okay. Here we go. Because I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center because I just did, so. The first two potions, five. How many fresh water do we have? We have eight. Well, I should just start using some of that. And we got Soda Pop too. Let's see. This is 40. I could use two potions, I guess. I do be down to three potions, but well. I don't know, we got 44 HP on this other one. You can just use a soda, a uh, fresh water, I guess. Here we go, that works. Ultimate still front, so that's good. Uh, this is Celestial Tower, where Pokemon are laid to rest. Aww. So it's like the Lost Tower. It's uh, Pokemon Tower back in Kanto and first and third generation. For Fire and the Green and third generation, and then Red, Blue, and Yellow for first generation, along with Green too, which is at least in Japan. That's cool, I guess, but it's kind of sad. It puts a little damper on the mood. It's a doctor that I can battle and heal up my Pokemon after, uh, after I beat them or something in battle. I think there is. Incredible energy, the force uh, uh, is falling to me. Cool. You wanna meddle with that? Do you wanna meddle with that? Okay, Psychic Doreen, I guess that's how you pronounce her name. Watch you still mispronounce it. I do not know what type that is, that Pokemon is. I have no idea. I have no idea what that type of Pokemon is. Well, let me look it up real quick. It's type of Psychic. Let's go for the air cutter, I guess. Did a little bit half. Oh, it could have gone nice. So it even like I too much, too much to ultimate, I don't think. I don't know what that did. I didn't read that fast enough. Huh. But this thing should go down now. Awesome. We got all this left the third one. Awesome. So let's so, switch so, so to Krakow on this one. Because I know Solisus, or however you pronounce its name, is a, is a psychic type. And Krakow has some, uh, not ground type, well, ground type moves, of course, but also dark type moves. It gets the same type of tech boss too. Stab. Cool. So, let's go for the crunch. Want to kill? Okay, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna do some off-camera training, off-camera, off-screen training. I'm kinda, kinda, kinda itching towards that, cause like, I do it kinda, I'm not under level, it's just I'm like, where I'm supposed to be, but I like having a little bit of advantage, to be honest. 
It's always nice. But I'll have to decide on that soon, I guess. If I want to do it in between this part and the next part, we'll do is training, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Oh, I'm also on a KO day. Put in the reds. Okay. Let's go through the assurance then. Okay, this thing's gonna use air cutter on Krako. Yeah. There we go. Krako's in level 32, which is pretty cool. We defeat Psychic D Doreen. Yeah, I have said I didn't need your dog, but thanks for 1,920 pocket dollars. Okay, let's switch, uh, Ultimate. No, we want to switch Crocker with Baconator is what we need to do. But I'm going to try putting Baconator in front see what he can do. Yeah. Here's the trainer. Meow, meow, meow. This sign may, means I have to battle. Uh, this sign means that I have a battle with me. Okay. That's cool. This is probably the last battle of the video. And that's this battle. I'll decide if I want to do some off screen tra off-screen training or not. I think this is doing still a grass type, right? It's just pink instead of green. Let's go for the flame charge. Let's just take down. Do about a third of damage, I guess you could say. Flame charge is going to hit. Okay, nice. Cool, yeah. We're getting a good level there too, and has, and has 100 HP now. Gothic. I think that's a dark type, or a ghost type or something. It's got a blue. You know, honestly, at this point, I think I'm okay with having not not having to do off screen off screen training at all, which is pretty cool actually. Let's go for the muddy water. And you avoid the attack, of course. Oh, faint detection did too much. Yeah, I was right. It only did eight HP. Did about half. That's awesome. But go away. I can't use any moves on Boo, but that's okay. This battle's almost over anyway, so that's good. Awesome. How do I get the item? Because it's here. Yes, it is. Awesome. It's a hyper potion. Nice. Very worth picking up. Okay, before I run into the battle, I'm gonna end the part right here. So yes, yeah, then I'm gonna put on black and white walk through part, and the next part take on the rest of the Celestial Tower, and maybe get into the gym of, uh, Minstrantan City, or however you pronounce it. Uh, let's see, let me look it up on my town map real quick. It's right here, right? Yeah. Uh, Minstrantan, Mist, Railton City. Miss Austin City. I don't even know. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, so this video I go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys next time. My Pokemon Buck Walkthrough Guide.